Next item, please. Uh, is Councillor, oh, I'm sorry, this is Councillor Cameron's notice of motion. I was going to say it's Councillor Perry's, and he's gone. Uh, <laughs> Councillor Cameron's notice of motion regarding unsightly premises and potential amendments to the nuisance bylaw. Right, Thank you, Worship. I have a slightly altered uh, motion than what was proposed in the in the agenda there. So I would move that an independent legal opinion be sought on potential remedies to address specific inactions by property owners in dealing with unsightly premises, whereby any associated costs shall be expended from the legal services operating budget. Thank you. Seconder, please. Councillor Frangi, who wish to speak? Briefly, Your Worship, I, I did put together some notes here um, just so I could share, and it, it is the first time that I've had the opportunity to speak to this. So uh, thank you. To, as mentioned, I'm going to have a, a moment to address this if I could. I'm pleased to be able to speak with regards to the request of November 1st, 2021 for changes to Brandon's Nuisance Bylaw number 5806. Uh, and I did want to provide some context to this request. I've engaged with residents of my ward for over a year now with regards to a problematic property in our neighbourhood. This property has been subject to numerous visits from members of Brandon Police Service, Brandon Fire and Emergency Services, the City of Brandon Zoning and Compliance Department, Safer Communities Manitoba, City of Brandon Bylaw Enforcement, City of Brandon Sanitation and many other departments. Over the fa past 12 months I personally have engaged with members of administration and more importantly, the neighborhood residents on the single property more than 400 times in a one year stretch. Uh, in reviewing the current site, the cost to the city in allowing operations of properties that live on the fringes of legal access and respectful community life is immense. And the impact to the neighbors, the neighborhood in which these properties exist is far reaching, demoralizing due to somewhat lack of action and frankly causing people to reconsider life in our city. Uh, following numerous meetings with residents, city administra administration, members of Brandon Police Service and other departments in relation to properties such as this, I raised at the November, 21st, or November 1st, 2021 meeting at Council the need to strengthen bylaw measures and to provide the necessary teeth to the compliance and ultimate change in these neighbourhoods. Upon careful review, so, since giving this notice, it was deemed that the city seek outside legal opinion on the necessary strategies for strengthening this bylaw and the ability to enforce measures that will enact change. Tonight, I make the request for that outside legal opinion on the necessary bylaw improvements, and I do this on behalf of the residents who I know and respect a great deal for their courage and conviction to bring change over these past 12 months. For administration and city services, residents like these, residents like this have a, are a cost of doing business. But for the neighborhood, though, it's been a 24-hour a day challenge to live with a feeling of feeling of lack of safety in their own homes. It has been unrelenting and needs to change. My commitment continues to be working towards enacting these necessary changes and to shift the dynamic and allow our exemplary city staff the opportunity to make the changes for the neighborhoods to again feel safe in their own homes. On behalf of these residents and countless more who deal with these similar issues in our city, I respectfully ask Council to support this motion this evening to seek legal outside opinion for the necessary improvements to the nuisance bylaw. Thank you, Councillor Cameron. Um, any discussion? Councillor Lupke. Just for some clarity, Councillor Cameron, uh, through you, uh, Your Worship, are we taking an overview of the entire bylaw or are there specific sections of the bylaw that we're seeking this opinion on? Uh, through your worship to Councillor Lukey, I, I would think the number, the items to really highlight in this bylaw are, are with regards to sanitation and a lot of the enforcement around um, how we're able to enforce sanitation within our city. I think that's first and foremost one of the biggest challenges that's faced at this particular property and uh, I think would go a long way to helping both the residents feel safe but also make the neighborhood uh, more appealing once again for, for residents. Ultimately, uh, if I may, Your Worship, ultimately a, a number of other factors are governed by other bodies, be it uh, um, the police board, those type of things where council maybe doesn't have the same level of impact, but we do have a level of impact with the sanitation and the overhaul um, 
the overall compliance of properties in our neighborhood. So I think that's one place that we need to, it's incumbent on us to make sure there's change there. Pink, thank you. I think um, just to expand on that a wee bit, as council knows, um, and sometimes residents aren't aware of this, and they just feel we have sort of unlimited authority and we can kind of make any changes uh, uh, and act anything that we might like. Um, we know better that, you know, we are provided with enabling legislation typically by the province. And so, you know, sometimes writing, crafting new bylaws on the part of our <coughs> legislative services department, our own legal department and the like is fairly straightforward and they do that routinely. And then other matters, you know, we do need to get some, you know, additional advice to make sure that we're complying, obviously, with all of the other laws of the land and, you know, probably provide tools to council that we may not otherwise be aware of. So I think it's an appropriate uh, strategy and obviously we may give council some other uh, uh, measures to consider, but at least, you know, we'll know that they're lawful, you know, within council's power and authority. So. Any other discussion before we call the question then? All right, all those in favor? Opposed, that is carried.